Food can be a matter of life and death when you're battling with kidney disease or facing dialysis. Today, we're going to dive deep into the forbidden territory of foods that could jeopardize your kidney health. Brace yourselves, this is a journey you cannot afford to miss. Welcome to the Kidney Zone, I'm Dr. Mo. Before we begin, please remember that this video is for informational purpose only. If you have any concerns about your kidney health, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional. First on our list are foods that are high in phosphorus. When your kidneys are not functioning optimally, they struggle to remove excess phosphorus from your blood. This can lead to a cascade of serious health issues, including brittle bones and heart problems. It's crucial to limit or, if possible, avoid foods like cheese, nuts, seeds, and processed meats. Next up, we have high potassium foods. For anyone on dialysis, excess potassium can spell trouble, potentially causing dangerous heart rhythms and problems. High potassium foods like bananas, orange, potatoes, and tomatoes are on the list of foods to watch. It's essential to be cautious and explore low potassium alternatives like white rice, pasta, or bread. These can be kinder to your kidneys while satisfying your carb cravings. Also check with your doctor for alternatives if you are a diabetic. Next, let's talk about salt and sodium. Dialysis patients in particular must treat carefully when it comes to sodium intake. High sodium foods like canned soups, processed snacks and meals and fast food can trigger fluid retention and send blood pressure soaring. The message here is very clear. Limit salt intake. Now let's discuss protein. Protein is very important, but when it comes uh, to kidney disease management, too much protein can strain your kidneys. Foods like red meat, poultry, and dairy are rich in proteins. If you are on dialysis or have advanced kidney disease, your healthcare team may advise moderation when it comes to protein intake. Now let's talk about sugar. High sugar foods like soda, candy, and sweets can lead to weight gain and other health problems. Plus, they might worsen diabetes. Diabetes often accompanies kidney disease, so it's a good idea to limit these treats. Now, let's talk about water intake. Regardless of whether you, are, uh, whether you have chronic kidney disease or you are on dialysis, keep close eye on your fluid intake. Consider using measuring cups uh, uh, to portion your fluids and a dedicated water bottle to help track consumption throughout the day. Many patients find it very helpful to maintain a fluid intake logbook. This simple tool can provide valuable insights into your hydration patterns and make it easier for you and your healthcare team to make necessary adjustments of your fluid balance. Fluid balance adjustments include monitoring daily fluid intake, reducing sodium consumption, and adhering to fluid restrictions, especially between dialysis sessions. These adjustments help prevent complications such as fluid overload, swelling, and high blood pressure ultimately contributing to a better overall health and overall kidney function. Lastly, let's talk about caffeine. Caffeine intake is a topic of concern for individuals with kidney disease. While moderate caffeine consumption is generally considered safe for most people, kidney patients may need to be more cautious. Caffeine is a diuretic, which means it can increase urine production and potentially lead to fluid loss, posing a challenge for those compromised kidney function. Additionally, excessive uh, caffeine intake can elevate the blood pressure, which is a risk factor for kidney disease progression. Therefore, it's advisable for kidney disease patients to limit their caffeine intake, consulting their healthcare team or dietitian for a personalized recommendations to ensure that they strike on the right balance for their unique health needs. And that wraps up our episode for today. Don't forget to check episode 7, where I talk about foods that can help repair and maintain your kidney health. Remember, your dietary and fluid intake needs are unique, and it's crucial to work closely with your healthcare team or a registered dietitian to create a personalized meal plan. By being mindful of these foods to avoid, you are taking a significant step towards better kidney health. If you found this video informative, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and leave us a review or a rating on your favorite podcast platform for more information about kidney health related content. As always, take care of your health and stay hydrated. Thanks for tuning in to the Kidney Zone and we'll see you in the next episode.